Okay, here we're going to look at approximating the value of a function. So suppose we use a second degree Maclaurin polynomial of the function e to the x to estimate e to the 0 0.3. Um, and our estimation of e to the 0 0.3 is going to be 1 plus 0 0.3 plus 1 half 0 0.3 squared. We want to know what's an estimate to the error. So, okay, so we're using a degree 3 uh, polynomial. So or excuse me, we're, or we're using a second degree uh, polynomial, so um, our remainder associated with our second degree polynomial, that's going to equal, well, the third derivative evaluated at z um, over uh, this 3 factorial, and then we've got our expression x minus c. In this case, since it's a Maclaurin polynomial, we can just plug in our c value of 0, and that's going to be cubed. So a couple things here. Our x value in this case is 0 0.3. So we've got the third derivative at z over 3 factorial. Then we'll just have 0 0.3 cubed. So again, re recall that z is some value. It's in between It's in between x and c. So our x value is what we're plugging in, so that's 0 0.3. And our c value is where it's centered at, so z is some number in between 0 0.3 and 0. Again, a Maclaurin polynomial um, is centered at 0 by definition. Okay, so let's see. Our function here is e to the x, so, well, the third derivative is also going to just be e to the x. So if we plug in z, well, we would just get e to the z. Okay, so this is where we have to think just a little bit. <clears throat> so the third derivative is e to the z over 3 factorial. We have 0 0.3 cubed. We want to make um, e to the z, we want um, e to the z to be, um, I, I want to say as large as possible. Um, and again, when you're taking values, you have to really think about absolute value. So um, e to the z is always positive. So um, in this case, we want e to the z to be as large as possible um, for values in between uh, basically the interval from 0 to 0 0.3. Well, to make uh, e to the z as large as possible, uh, e is going to be... Uh, a larger value when we plug in 0 0.3. So therefore our error will say is at most e to the 0 0.3. So again I've maximized the function e to the z over this interval over 3 factorial times 0 0.3 cubed. That would be an estimation of our error. Okay and when I say uh, as large as possible, um, so let me digress for just a second. So, okay, so there's that, that problem's over. So just a quick little remark. Um, suppose, you know, we had a function and maybe it could take on values between negative 4 and positive 1. In that case, uh, you know, since we're taking the absolute value, so suppose we had some generic function, um, you know, f of z over 3 factorial and 0 0.3 cubed. Suppose we had some function f of z that took on values between negative 4 and 1, um, so I need to be careful when I say as large as possible because we're taking the absolute value um, of, the, of, the, of the numbers. So really, um, if, if our function f of z took on values between negative, negative 4 and 1, we wouldn't plug 1 in. We're trying to make this, uh, this absolute value expression as large as possible. So in that case, we would actually plug in negative 4 because, again, when we take the absolute value, well, we'll get positive 4. And that's going to be a number much larger than 1. So when I say make an expression as large as possible, really think about taking the absolute value of uh, basically the range of that function.